Hello and welcome to part two of the Left to Die tutorial series. Today I'll be going over how to navigate the menu. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, you want to recognize that you have this thing called a mouse. And uh, most people have one. And what you do with it is you move the mouse and that moves the cursor on your screen. You see that, that white thing on my screen? Yeah, it moves when I move the mouse. So we, we want to move it over one of these options. And you can see that they tell a little bit about them and uh, campaign and survival. Uh, and if you click them, they'll open up this, this prompt here. And this prompt has three options. Now, quick match uh, is if you want to just play a match like right now. Uh, you don't care about what mode or anything like that or what difficulty or anything like that. Uh, play online is if you want to browse a server list. And uh, play with friends is if you have any friends who are currently playing the game and you want to join them. Now, the now if you want to do quick match, what you're going to have to do is move your mouse over quick match. And then there's this button on your mouse on the left side. And we call that left clicking. You, you click that and it will join a server if there are any open for you to join. And that should bring you into a new Left to Die game. And uh, there should be people already in it. But you can go ahead and go back to the main menu. So I can uh, show you the rest of this stuff. Uh, now if you move your mouse over, play campaign again. But instead move over, play online and click left click it. Uh, you should see a list. Uh, this list uh, will tell you... The campaign name, as you can see, this is called the test campaign. Uh, it will tell you the difficulty that that server is currently on, which this one is on advanced. And then it will tell you how many games uh, fit the, this description that have uh, this campaign and this difficulty. Or you can filter by moving your mouse over game or lobbies. And if you click that, you can select uh, whether you want to have both games and lobbies sorted together or you want only lobbies or you want games games are ongoing games right now and lobbies are just open lobbies and i'll show you how to do that uh, you can also s sort by difficulty as you can see uh, and if you select one of these and then press join game it will take you to that game just like uh, all the other ones. Uh, and if it fails, it'll just take you back to the main menu. <clears throat> now, if you want to create a lobby, press the Create Lobby button, and uh, you'll have these options here. You can select the difficulty you want, you can select the campaign you want, you can select uh, what kind of privacy mode you want. If it's a public game, then other people, random people can join you. Uh, if it's a friends-only game, then only friends will be able to join you. And then you press the Create Lobby button. And wow, you're in a lobby. You can edit these settings that you set before with the Edit Game Settings option. Uh, you can choose your character. Uh, and you can see we have Alfred, Isaiah, Otis, and Eve. And see their character portraits next to me. This is a list of all the players currently in the lobby, if you didn't notice. The permissions will allow you to set uh, the public or friends only game again. And as you can see, it changes the lobby info up here. And if you press this button, it'll start the game. Now, I'm not going to do that because I need to show you at least one more thing. If you instead select the uh, playing friends, it should show a list of all your friends who are currently in Left to Die. Uh, I don't have any friends uh, currently in the game, so uh, this list is empty. But if it were, it would function just like the play online where you could click them and then press a the join game if they're in a game. Now, if you press create lobby, it will bring you to the same old prompt before, but instead it will default to friends only instead of public. 
And you may notice I didn't click the play survival, but it has all the same options except for the survival mode. So let's go ahead and start a survival game. Let's start a public survival game. And create this lobby. I'll choose my character. And now press uh, start game. And that will take me into the game. You'll load in and you'll be in the map. See, I'm here in the map. And walk around and stuff like that. And uh, that's all I have for you today uh, for this Fuse Studios Left to Die Basics tutorial.